Congressional Democrats are racing to pass a climate and health care bill ahead of the August recess. The stakes are high, the margins are close. Congressional correspondent Rachel Scott is tracking it all. Good morning, Rachel. George, good morning. It is down to the wire for Senate Democrats now scrambling to get this economic bill passed before they leave town for August recess on Friday. If they pull it off, it would be the largest investment in climate in U.S. history, putting $369 billion toward climate and energy initiatives, including tax credits for buying electric vehicles, a major investment in health care to lower premiums for Americans buying their own health insurance, and it would also lower the cost of medication for seniors. All of this would be paid for by increasing tax on big corporations and the wealthy. But this morning, it is unclear if Democrats have the votes they need to get it passed. They need the support of all 50 Senate Democrats. And right now, there's still one big holdout. Senator Kirsten Sinema of Arizona has not indicated if she plans to vote yes, George. And one of the big questions would be, what, what impact will this have on inflation? Yes, George, and it's in the name of the bill, the Inflation Reduction Act. Democrats argue that it puts billions of dollars toward tackling the deficit, that it would help reduce inflation. But one outside analysis shows that it would slightly increase inflation until 2024 before bringing it back down, George. Rachel Scott, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.